Welcome back to Project 613. We're on day 11, and we're continuing today with the next 13 mitzvahs in, that are connected with idols and idol worship. Like we mentioned a couple of days ago, we are to stay far away from anything which might seem idolatrous, or the ways of idolaters, which is why we have the first three mitzvahs today. Number one, we are not allowed to make a matzeva, we are not allowed to make a structure to gather around to serve Hashem, because this, is, this was the ways of idolaters, they would make structures to gather around to serve their idols. Number two, we are not allowed to put down stones on the ground and to bow down under the stones to Hashem. This was also a way of idolaters. They would put down stones and they would, they, would, um, they would decorate them and they would bow down to their idols. This is allowed in the temple when serving Hashem, of course. And next, we are not allowed to plant a tree in the temple. This was also the ways of idolaters. They would plant trees in their temples. Next, three mitzvahs. We are to get rid of any idols or the places of, of to worship idols in the land of Israel in a time when the central court, the Sanhedrin was, was governing in Israel and the, all the Jewish people were there. They were, to get, they were to get rid of any idols in the fastest way, whether it's to burn or to shatter or to completely take... Get, there should not be any idols or idol worship in the land of Israel. And next, we are not allowed to have benefit from any, from any, from any, any idols. And the next one, that we are not allowed to have benefit from the jewelry which adorns the idols or the gold or silver which is used to coat, to cover their idols. Moving on to the next three, we are not allowed to, when the Jewish people came into the land of Israel, at the beginning there were seven nations, the Shiva Amamin, and they were not allowed to make any kind of pact or deal with them unless they were to give up their idolatrous ways. The next one, they were not, were not allowed to be kind and try, try to find favor in the eyes of an idolater by saying, even by saying, look how nice this person looks, that is prohibited. And next, we were not, we were not again, when the central court was running in Israel, we were not allowed to, let, to allow other nations to enter the land of Israel, or even, to, um, even to walk through the land of Israel, for sure not to purchase or to rent land in Israel, if they were not to give up their idolatrous ways. Moving on, we are not allowed to copy the, the ways of idolaters, even if it's not to do with actual idol worship. We're not allowed to wear the same garments of them. Of them. If they wear purple garments, we can't wear purple because we, we like what they're wearing. We can't make stadiums or, or worship halls to copy them. And next, the last three. Number one, we're not allowed to do what's called nichush, which is interpreting omens when, somebody's, when somebody bases their plans around good or bad omens, where they say, look, the example given, a, a fox ran around my side or a piece of bread fell out of my mouth or my stick fell out of my hand. This means I should or shouldn't do this or that. That is prohibited. We are not allowed to do Kaisen Kusamim, which is, which is a soothsaying when somebody, when somebody does certain acts to get themselves into a state of, of great imagination where they are able to somewhat talk about what's going to happen in the future. And like the, the Maimonides gives examples of where he saw it in Morocco where they would, uh, they would throw sticks on the ground or throw pieces of leather things at the wall and they would do all these things until they would get themselves into this good, this strong state of imagination and they were able to talk about things that were going to happen. And they would usually they would usually have a pretty good imagination, which is why people would think that they're saying some that they are that they have some divine powers. And really, they were just good. They had good good um, imagination skills. And this they were this is prohibited. Soothsaying is prohibited. And finally, we are not allowed to do um, we're not allowed to do divination or astrology, which is called um, which is called ma'inim. Um, um, we're not allowed to um, to plan or to say things ba based or based on say what's going to happen based on the sun and the moon and other planets. And another th part of this is that we're not allowed to, to use the slight one is not allowed to use the slight of their hands to um, trick people as if they have magical powers. That if they do things very fast with their hands and people will think that they have that they could do they could do real magic that is prohibited. See you again tomorrow for the final thirteen mitzvahs of idol worship. Thank you so much for joining us.